So this is it, the historical marker, uh, the place where Bonnie and Clyde got shot. It's about uh, seven miles out of Gibsland. Uh, ooh, it is sweaty. So this is the marker. Uh, we'll come back to this one. This is the little tribute marker to Bonnie and Clyde. Somebody put their cigarettes out on top of it. It's uh, difficult to read because um, it looks like people are just carving a piece of memorabilia and taking it with them, especially out of the name Bonnie. So this site, May 23rd, I don't even think it has the year. Uh, Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker were killed by law enforcement officers. Oh, look at this. This is really being chipped away. Um, erected Vineville Parish Police Jury. And then uh, here's the tribute to the law enforcement. On this site, May 23rd, 1934 at 9.15 a.m., the infamous outlaws Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow met their demise at the hands of these dedicated law enforcement officials. Lest we forget these brave and vigilant conservators of the peace, front left, Deputy Sheriff Robert Elkhorn, Vineville Sheriff Henderson Jordan, Texas Ranger Captain Frank Hammer, and then back left, Deputy Sheriff Ted Hitton, Chief Deputy Prentice Oakley, and then Texas Ranger B.M. Galt, and the original marker erected by Bineville Parish Police Jury, erected by Bineville Parish Chamber of Commerce, and the authentic Bonnie and Clyde Festival Committee. So next, now that that one's off my bucket list, uh, spin over to Arcadia, and then um, start pedaling home back to Wisconsin.